this is the belt layout for the rail core and I'm going to be going through a video demo of how I align the two X carriages so that they're parallel. So this is the initial belt configuration. I have not adjusted any of the height of my pulleys or anything like that yet so it's just kind of box stock. This is a Railcore 250ZL um, that was someone's uh, self-source build and I bought it from them so I'm getting it up and running and I figured with it being nice and clear it would be a good uh, video platform to show some of this. So the first step that we're going to wind up doing is taking these parallels, these parallel blocks and mounting them in the corner with some clamps. It's kind of a fiddly process. You gotta have a little patience on it. And you gotta have them open just the right amount before you clamp them down. So I tend to do it like this. And you wanna hold the pair the one, two, three blocks. I'm sorry, I misspoke. They're one, two, three box, blocks, not parallels. And you want to just get them tightened down on the rails so that they're pretty much stand put. Adjust it up a little bit here. I like to clamp right on the rail itself. And obviously you don't want to let the one, two, three blocks fall because they are heavy <laughs> and uh, they can actually damage your panels. So I'm going to do the rotate the whole printer here to do the back one just because it's a little easier with our video setup here. And this particular printer is also made with polycarbonate panels, which I do not make, but uh, they were a uh, person who I got the printer from um, had them laser cut with a fiber laser. And you can't cut polycarbonate with a CO2 laser. So anyway, now you get this one, two, three block back in position here. So. The next step, I'm going to rotate the printer back because it's easier to see when you have at an, at, you're looking at it from front to back. So the next step is to jog your carriages up to the one, two, three blocks. And it looks like I got mine tilted just a little bit here, so I got to straighten those out. Bear with me a moment. They do have to be nice and straight and against the rails or this process doesn't work right. There we go. And so now they're both below there. This back one was resting slightly against the stepper mount. So now we slide it up so that one of the two carriages touches the one two three block and this is actually fairly well in alignment already but you can see if I push on this one I got a little bit of inward movement so at this point it looks like the back belt is or the back uh, stepper motor is at a fairly good spot so I'm going to tighten that one down just snug it down lightly all four bolts and then on this one if you will try and get a zoom in real close down here I don't know if you guys can see the gap in there so when I pull this stepper motor towards the side of the printer you can see it fill up that gap. So I'm going to pull that in. I'm going to be bad and I'm going to use a scissor how not intended. 
so that I have a little leverage and I'm just going to tighten down the stepper motor screws. And that's the process for making your X carriages parallel with each other. At this point in time, we can also load up an app on your phone. I use one called Entuner. I'm trying to pull it up right now. So, this is the tuning application here. As you can see, I'm talking, it's registering different hertz. So what you're going to want to do down here, I'm going to pluck this string, uh, basically pluck the string or pluck the belt, and see what hertz I've got it at. Right now I'm at 118 hertz approximately on both belts. So obviously that is way, 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 way too tight. So... <clears throat> All we have to do is grab the correct tool here, and these are the the metal belt clips and retainers from Mandela Rose Works. Yes, me. Um, and all you got to do to reduce the tension on them is to turn them out a few turns a piece. So I'm going to do each one of them two, and I'm actually going to do each side two. And I'll do the back side as well, and then we'll tune again and see what our frequency is. So, <clears throat> so we're at 83.7, 82, so I can probably do one turn out, or maybe a half turn on each of them, just to keep the tension the same. You only have so many turns in an adjustment on the belt clips. So I try to do them both equally. And the furnace just kicked in, so I'm not getting a very good reading. And something dropped that shouldn't have. But you get the general idea of tuning the belts. I've got them, it looks like they're about 72 hertz right now, which I believe is pretty good for the 250 size. Um, at this point, all that we have left to do on this printer is basically hook up the electronics in the hot end and do the wiring and stuff because the belts are all now in place and uh, the, the X carriages are parallel with each other as well. So I hope this has been helpful and uh, if you got any comments or questions please uh, leave it on the video link.